Shannon Devo and I'm reporting live here for Mike Check TV at JMC's Comedy Night and obviously we've got one of the best comedians on the scene right now standing right next to me, Mr Jamie Howard. How are you? I'm very well. Yeah? How are you? I'm amazing. Yeah? As always. Right. You've got to be. So obviously, um, Jamie, you've just done one of your sets inside um, Jamesy's, Jamesy's Comedy Night today. Um, how did it go? It was alright. Um, I told some jokes. Some people laughed, not everyone. <laughs> Um, but it's cool, I'm from South Innit, so I stabbed him after. Uh, <laughs> nothing, no long time. No, no violence? Okay? No, no, I don't, Peace in the world. I don't condone violence. I would never, I would never hit a woman, a choker, but I never hit her. Great. I'm no, and it was a nice show, it was a nice show, it was a good vibe. Um, everyone should come down and, and watch better comedians than me. Um, it was nice, it was good. I enjoyed it. Fantastic. So tell me how you got into um, comedy. Do you know a comedian called Stephen K. Amos? Um, yeah. You don't. Ah, oh, he's he a big black guy, black Afro guy beard. Afro. Yeah, yeah. He did a documentary on Channel Four called Batman, where he went to Jamaica yeah, to yeah, yeah. Okay, um, yeah. talk to the reggae artists about mm -hmm. the homophobic. So he was in a play called One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, um, okay. and I worked there selling programs and ice creams and stuff. I don't do okay. that anymore. I've made it. Um, but he kept on telling me I was funny. Um, and I just assumed that you wanted to sleep with me, uh, which he did. Want to, not actually. <laughs> Let's clear that up. Uh, um, and he took me to the comedy store. They do this thing called King Gong, which if you think you're funny, you go up on stage okay. um, and you do however long. And three members of the audience are given red cards. And okay. if all three red cards go up, you get gonged off. And I went to watch and the host said, oh, next on stage, we've got a guy called Jamie Howard. Um, and at first I was like, oh, someone's got the same <laughs> name as me. And he said, no, it's you, not with like a big lottery hand, just his normal hand. Um, and I went up on stage and told a story about an argument that I had with my mum and people laughed and then I dried up and, and choked and got booed off. Um, but from there, I was like, yeah, I can do this. And, and now I write material and get booed off, which is quite <laughs> cool, so it's nice, yeah. Fantastic. So obviously, um, how long have you been in the game for? Tell me. Uh, I've been doing comedy for about three years. Okay. Yeah, since I was like 21. Is there any other hidden talents in there? Or just a comedian? Nah, just, I act as well. Um, I just did a, a sketch show called the Jason Lewis Experience, which is on BBC Three. Um, I did Coming of Age, which is on BBC Three. Um, <laughs> I just do things on BBC Three. I'm trying to get on BBC <laughs> One and Two, but they just won't let me. Um, I can sing a little bit. Okay. Do you but, wanna... uh, no, no, just in my shower. <laughs> uh, so if you want to come and shower with me, then uh, then I'll sing to you. Um, but no, Dreams. just just um, just so, comedy. See, I can be a comedian as well. You see, mm. taking tips from you, <laughs> just try it. Um, anywho, so just obviously tell me. Um, where do you think you see yourself in the next sort of five sort of years? Um, five years older. Uh, hopefully, I don't know. I want to. I want to act, and I want to present more than I want to do stand up. So okay. I kind of want. I, I really like Simon Amstel. You okay. know Simon yeah, Amstel. Yeah. yeah. So he started off as a Nickelodeon presenter. Then yeah. he did stand up. Then he did Nevermind the Bus Cops. Then he did stand up. Then he did his own show on BBC Two. Uh -huh. um, so if I wanted to take any route, route, um, it'd be kind of like the Simon Amstel route. Wicked. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Um, inside, you said that you had quite a lot coming up. Tell me about what's um, on the plan for you. Uh, so I just did some work with Vice Magazine and K-Swiss. Um, K-Swiss have relaunched and rebranded and they've made a website called Gonzo World. Okay. Um, and one of the segments is called Gonzo Fit, where they place an everyday presenter, me, into intense <laughs> fitness um, regimes. So the first one I did, I did a training session with David Hay okay. and he punched me quite a few times and it fucking hurt. Uh, and then I did army training, then I went to LA to meet a guy called Michael Jai White, okay. who He's a stuntman, he did a film called Black Dynamite, he's been in Batman and a few other things. And then I met a UFC guy called Uriah Faber um, and did some cage fighting with him. Really? Which is quite cool, yeah, I beat him. <laughs> uh, I didn't, I, I got a bit of shit kicked out of me. But, so I'm doing that, that's on gonzoworld.com, watch that. And then just kind of plodding along, man, just feeding my dog and watering my houseplants. You have cool. a dog? I have a dog called Bobby Ray. Oh my god! He's lovely. Oh god. Shout out to Bobby Ray. <laughs> You've got to shout your dog out at least yeah. you know I mean. He's the only person who probably cares about me. Um. <laughs> so obviously you're doing quite a lot with yourself. Um, what would you um, say? Just, just alright? I'm alright. Yeah, I could, do, I could be doing a lot better, I could be doing a lot worse. I'm just cool. I'm plodding along. Fair enough. Obviously, fair, I think you're doing quite well for yourself. Thank you very much. Um, but what would you say is one of the best experiences you've had so far? Oh, I don't know. Just, I really enjoy my life. Like I wake up and I think, cool. I do my own comedy show once a month um, called Laughing Boy at Shoreditch House, um, which is which is quite nice. I do that. 
I just wait. I like. I like what I do, and I'm just trying to propel and take it to another level. So yeah, I do. It's simple. It's, I do what I do because I enjoy it. It's better than working in the office or like selling shoes or cleaning. Everyone has this sort of path they want to be in. So yeah. you know, you got to do what you love. I'm following my path. It's the right thing. Right. What I do want to know is obviously we've all heard about the Tottenham riots today. Yes. What is your view? Well, it's kind of today as well. Carrying on. Yeah. People in Tottenham don't sleep. <laughs> I really hope they would. No, nah, they don't. They see with one eye open, but they will gun me. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. What is your views on it? Um, I think the peaceful protest was very right. I think there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that we don't know that happen. I think the guy that got shot, it was very unfortunate. And if you're an armed policeman, then you can shoot someone in the knee, in the shoulder. You can take them out without actually killing them. But I think the riots itself was a bit mad. Like, they're smashing up Audi. Like, if you lived in Tottenham, why would you want to smash up places that your mum is then wanting to go to to shop at the next day? I think the peaceful protest was was right and it was all done in the right name or for the right cause. But what happened as a result of it, I don't agree with. Don't agree. And I think people were just doing it. I think 20% of people that were then doing the rights were doing it for the right cause. The other 80% just jumped on the bandwagon. Yeah, it's true. A lot of people just um, think it got a bit out of hand. A little, a little bit. I'm just upset that I wasn't there because I heard Baby was stole stuff from JD and I wanted to be one of them guys, but it didn't not, happen. Not so. that he's ever going to go down that route. <laughs> you did, the cameraman. <laughs> Teeth. <laughs> What I do want to know is obviously um, you've got a lot going on and who I want to know is who your next work um, What's the in, next in thing on your in. schedule? What's the next thing on, on my schedule? Um, I got an audition on Tuesday to be an MTV presenter um, so I don't know, if you watch this like a few months down the line I might be that MTV presenter <laughs> Or I might just do a really shit audition and not be that MTV presenter. Okay, but I got that. But I just plodded along. I'm just auditioning. I've got shows booked up. I'm going to Edinburgh um, for the Fringe Festival okay. um, for the last week of this month. It's good luck. Um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair days. Okay. You, you're the next person. I, I am. Work it with. Come on, MTV, hook it up. No, no. Like Double duo. Privately. Um, with my own camera. Uh, Anywho, <laughs> tell me one thing that you would recommend to anyone that wants to get into the industry, obviously following down your path or anything they want to do, one thing, piece of advice even, that just, you would give them. Just do it. Don't be scared. Don't be lying on your deathbed and thinking, what if I did that? You'll never know unless you do it. And if you do do comedy, just write. Writing is very important. Don't invite your friends to your first few gigs <laughs> because your friends know your sense of humour. They know you're funny, so they'll give you that full sense of security. They'll laugh and be ha ha ha, and then you'll do your sixth show without them, and when no one laughs, and you'll think, ah, oh, I'm funny. My friends <laughs> told me. So if you're gonna do comedy, just write loads of material. Don't invite your friends, and just do it. Don't be scared to do anything in life. Just have a story to tell. And whatever you want to do, try and do it. You might succeed, you might not, but you'll never know unless you give it a go. Keep positive, you will succeed. Yeah, nice. PMA, positive mental attitude. This is the one. Yeah. Any and plugs? read The Alchemist. Read The Alchemist, it's a really good book. Really? Let's yeah. check that out. Yeah, Will Smith swears by it. Um, read The Alchemist. Sounds good. Any plugs? Where can we find you? Just follow me on Twitter. Uh, Jamie Howard, ha ha. J A M I E H A W A R D H A H A. Tweet him. Yeah, tweet me. Him. Say you're shit or you're really good. I don't care what you say as long as you follow me. Just follow me. Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming down to James's comedy night. I it's been absolutely fun. amazing. Obviously, Mike Check TV, D101 Magazine, and Jeff, thanks a lot for coming down. Yeah, yeah cool. Safe. Thank you.